major problem that I've been noticing lately is there's a lot of Chinese that are coming into Filipino chat uh, under YouTube and other uh, institutions and they're pretending to be Filipinos and they are deliberately misleading information, right? And I, somebody left a really cool uh, link that ended most of this argument. And basically, uh, you know, about Chinavac, right? So Pfizer's recommended booster shots, and a lot of people don't understand that why Pfizer and some other people have side effects is because they're testing their shots. They, they literally do that stuff every day. And people are trying to say, well, they're, they're China Vax, Cinevac, they don't have any side effects and stuff like that, but they're not testing that stuff in China, okay? But I'm going to do mostly this video is about uh, these false wolf warriors that are coming in, pretending to be Filipinos, and some of them are Chinese just living in the Philippines. But they, they try to mislead information. And there's one guy in particular that had one of the most stupidest comments I've ever seen. This Hong Kong fool. I mean fool. Uh, because Pfizer's not effective. That's why they need booster shots. Well, first of all, if you check Pfizer, it is one of the most highly effective ones out there. They recommend a booster shots because of all the uh, additional variants. Right? And... You, they know they need a booster shot. They're recommended because they're still constantly testing. So are quite a few other manufacturers out there, right? So other than that, this guy said, how do you know? Just because it's Chinese, you have doubts? Chinese are more open. And Pfizer has been known to have lied and defined in the past. It's up to you. It's your body, your life. One thing for sure, traditional methods of vaccine manufacturers have been time proven. It may not be effective for each virus, but as wide spectrum of antibodies for various mutations. You think the Chinese government would inject unproven chemicals into the bodies of billions of ah billions of people? I'm not for sure uh, what ODD is, but when they are known to be people first, profits and property second. Good luck. Here's your Western first of all, I can literally go through one article after one article, so that's what I'm gonna do. But somebody actually uh, went by there and said, hey, Joe's Corner, Hong Kong fool, and he laughed, and it's freaking hilarious. So I'm going to go to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the link that he sent, and let's go ahead and do that. This is one of my favorite news agencies, uh, Gravitas. Indonesia suffers as Chinese vaccines fail. Basically, as 20 doctors have died in Indonesia despite being fully vaccinated with Sinovac, around 90% of the country's doctors took the Chinese shot they are now worried with the rising infections among healthcare workers. Have Chinese vaccinations failed? Yeah, yeah, they have. So we're also going to go look real quick, just a simple Google search, and how many Chinese vaccine histories have uh, failed China. One of the biggest problems of Chinese vaccines is in the past, you know, before COVID, they have literally killed and injured a lot of people in china man there's articles after i've read so many articles over the time period it's ridiculous you have people over there that are trying to protest because their kids are sick they're not the same anymore they're immobile and what's happened is you don't have a right to protest in china so they get shut down so not only was hong kong fool h key h you know it k i'm assuming that means hong kong foo he literally is either the dumbest human being on planet earth or he is literally so far into misinformation that he, oh, man, almighty. Whew. Gee, so basically, this was just six minutes ago. Outrage over thousands of faulty vaccines. So we're just going to click on it. I haven't clicked on it yet, so we're just going to read it. Outrage over thousands of Chinese vaccines for children. Hundreds of thousands of vaccines provided for Chinese children have been found to be faulty, including widespread fury prompting the country's President Xi to describe the incident as vile and shocking. Oh, it's your country. China Food and Drug Administration, which is a joke, has launched an investigation to the vaccine manufacturer, revoking its license for human rabies vaccines and beginning the recall of all unused vaccines products by the company. This is a widespread problem, right? Uh, so basically, I'm mean, message boards have been and uh, indulgated with hundreds of thousands of comments since the new spoke Sunday with parents and consumers using the hashtag change uh, change biotech vaccine incident to post re 
actions on Weibo, the Chinese platform like you know, like Twitter. My home country, can I trust you? Can I trust you? And that is the, probably the biggest thing. She's asking, can I trust you? And this has happened time and time again. So, then there's another one we could click. One of the older ones, right? Devils, Chinese parents demand answers over vaccine scandal. Oh, I hate that. Anybody else hate that? Yes, I'm happy. I don't know what I clicked happy to. I probably just spam mail for life here. So, on Sunday, blah, blah, blah. She saw the news. 250 defective vaccines administrated her children. Province were here and her husband and raising their only child. It was like an explosion in my head. Who lives in the eastern port uh, city of uh, Weihe in Qingdong province. My only thought was, please not my son. Please not my son. So, we're going to get back to the Hong Kong fool here. She posted somebody else. I said, it's amazing how many Filipinos think China is their friend. People think China Vac is good and USA is not. You Filipinos need to wake up and grow up. And I'm going to stand by that comment and that's what I meant. Sir, we have no choice. Only Sinovac is available from our government. Actually, I could go through and I could prove that's not true. They, they just shipped Johnson & Johnson. They've been shipping Pfizer here. Modern Era has just been um, it's been here for a while. That is not true. China Vac was just the first at first. But it's not true. It hasn't been true for a couple months anyway, right? So, are you lucky to have uh, Sinovac, uh, Mr. Hong Kong Fu here? It's the safest in the world today. Others have lots of side effects. You are getting new... Tech scientific today do not fully understand is to look for more side effects from blood costs to heart problems. No such side effects for Sinovac. When it's time for your booster shots, then you realize you made a right choice. China helps all and asks why your country can't even get a single dose from U.S. or Western friends, which is not true. This is only a week ago. Right? So be grateful, my friends. All my friends have shown Sinovac. So basically, this Hong Kong idiot... We're going to call him an idiot because not only is he leading misinformation, but he's Chinese. I actually clicked on his videos and I watched it. He is Chinese. He's not Filipino. He's what you call a uh, foreign agent wolf warrior. That's what he is. Right? So people like him, they come by and they spread misinformation. It's been happening in a chat room a lot. So if you're a Filipino and you're clicking on any kind of links whatsoever, especially when it comes to West Filipino Sea, and you're clicking on links to any uh, vaccine information, you need to be careful in that comment section to make for sure that people are not from China pretending to be Filipinos. And that's exactly what's going on. So no, Mr. HK Fu, you are totally incorrect. And you've been incorrect in everything you say. And you are part of the problem. And you are not part of the solution. And a lot of people have died, especially in Indonesia, that have taken a China vac because of people like you they're too stupid to keep your mouth shut. Anyway, thank you for watching Joe's Corner. Have a nice day.